Hello you guys, welcome to my channel and today we're going to replace this uh, the trim right here they call it the weather trim or oh, strip so I ordered uh, four of them for $38 um, so they do show you a label right here you, as you can see this one is for the right side, so it's RL. This one, the rear left, right? And have a label here, you can see too. This one is the front left. Okay, so you know which one it is. So as you can see, if you park your car outside too much, this thing is falling apart. As you can see, pretty much it's going bad. See this way, you can see it better. See, it's going bad. As you can see. And as you can see, this one is coming out already. And you can see it's pretty much loose. It's coming out. As you can see it. You can see it. So today we're going to take this out and replace it with a new one. So it's basically, if you can see from the new one, let me have the new one right here. So as you see the new one, they have the clip at the end. As you can see, the clip at the end. So basically, if you line up right here, you can see the clip is right there, somewhere right here. So what you want to do is pry that out. So, let me get the camera ready, and I'll show you how to pry it out right here. Okay, so I set out my camera. If you can see, if you have something like this, it would be great to open that, or you can use a flathead. But seeing this thing is playing out plastic, so it's not going to scratch your paint. So you, what you want to do is... As you can see, it's right here. Under here. The clip is under here. As you can see. All you need is push it in. Push it in. And then pull it up. As you can see, the clip is right here. So all you do is push it in. And pull it up. So when you get that done, all you need to do is oh, make sure you roll the window down. So all you need to do is just pull it up. Sometimes it's going to be hard because, because the window has been here so long, the strip, it's, it's kind of stuck in there. So pull it up to you. Everything come out. Easy. As you can see. So as you can see, the top one is kind of squished in here, okay? So make sure when you install the new one, that gonna be going first. So what do you want to do right now? Just clean up all this mess. Wipe it down. Let me get a some kind of paper. So clean up and wipe it down. Now the best you can. Trying to get this off. 
see this is what happened when the the rubber melted and it's leave a mark on the paint you have something like symbol uh, green you can use that to remove it too all right you can see everything is nice and clean look really good now we're going to get the new uh we're going to get a new piece and we're going to put it in mm -hmm. So let me get the new piece. So here's the new piece, as you can see. So what you want to do is the clip side is in the back. And then you got the other side on the front. So make sure right now you're trying to get this piece, this end, under here, okay? So you line up. Trying to push it in. You got it, you can push it in. And then make sure you line up the clip right here. So this one a little off. So you're trying to pull it out a little bit. There you go, see that? Right on the line, right? And that's what you want. And you want this, it's going under here, okay? So now all you do is just press it down, and you should be good. Let me move this here. So now all you need to do is just press it down. There you go. Do this. this press it down. Let me get this out here. So as you can see, it's perfectly lined up, and press it down, you see everything is nice, and basically that's it, installation of the front piece. And now we do the second piece right here, second piece. So we're gonna check out the second piece. Right here. So as you can see the second piece, you got one clip on the on both sides. So this type of clip is uh, you have to press both of them in to pull it out. And the longer side the long side right here is the one that's gonna go in the back here. So uh, I'm trying to set up the camera again, and we're gonna start uh, removing removing this piece right here. So basically, you got some some clip right here, and then you got probably another clip right here. This thing is already loose. So see if you we can take that out. So when you're doing this, if it's broken, if you're trying to get the piece out and it's broken, that's fine because you're not going to use it anymore. Just make sure you don't do it on the brand new one. 
So right here, you can see. I think clip is right here. See, it broke off already, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to get it out. Uh, so, let me try the other side. So, let me try to pull out this side. This side, I believe this clip is somewhere right here. So, the clip is under here. So it's right here. So let me pull this side up first. Let me go on from there. So as you can see, I can pull that thing up easily. It's just a matter of the clip right here. Since you can see, this thing is what's inside, right? Inside. So it's kind of hard to take it out. But we can try. See if we can pull that out. And we do all the other stuff. So we got it off, both the clip. As you can see, both the clip is broken. It doesn't matter because it's the old one. So now this thing is already broken. We can remove it. So we're trying to remove this clip. You can use a flathead or whatever you can to remove it. There you go. Just try your best to pull it out. And uh, the same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. Try your best to pull it out. So we don't need this anymore, the old clip anymore, so it doesn't matter. So there you go. Finally, I took it out. Like I said, this thing you have to pinch both sides, and then you don't have enough room right here to do it. So just try your best to get it out. After we clean up, then we can install the the new one in. So we go ahead and clean that up. Clean down the best you can. You got all this stuff right here. You can see a lot of 
a lot of rubber that have been too old and it's melt. You can scratch it off and some of them just stick there so try your best to get it out. Get it out, make as clean as possible. If you hear some background noise, sorry for that. Because every time <clears throat> I'm working on a video, my neighbor always come out and do stuff. Okay, you can see, looks nice and neat now. Okay, nice and neat. So since, I think this is the hardest part, if you installing this, the reason it's the hardest part is, let me show you. So remember the long side is in the back, right? So remember this thing have to go inside here. So and this thing is look, it's hard to pull it out. So that's the hardest part, trying to get that in. But let me show you. Uh, let me show you a tip, okay? So you wanna push it in this way, all the this side first, all the way in here. I'm trying to get a little little edge in okay and then you can squish it all the way over there well remember you got this clip right here so you got to be careful okay don't break it Just trying to open this up a little bit and then trying to get this in so basically you're trying to get the front in and also the back side in a little bit and then you squish it down Slowly push it down. Okay, slowly get it down. Go down to oh, you get all the way down there. Okay, so push slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly. Slowly, okay. So, as you can see, this thing is under here already. So, what you want to do, your best one is do is you pull this up a little bit and you're trying to push this in. So, that clip will go inside that hole right there, okay. So, that's that's your your main goal okay that's your main goal and that you help using this 
to push it in okay so when you get that thing to turn the other side you know you know it's, it's gonna be go right in right inside you see that now it snap in you can hear the snap and uh, that's what you want so also over here you want to line up two okay you want to line up the clip down to that hole too okay so as you can see everything's going in let me line this up so it snap in there too and you should be good This one we can push back a little bit. okay now everything's in as you can see everything's in it's good as you can see everything's in place the clip is on everything is nice and look good as you can see look good as you can see right there see everything's nice and neat now your final test is to test the window so turn on your key test and see if the window scroll up and down good or not okay See, see if I can do this. So you can see the windows up and down. Okay, let me get the window up. So as you can see, it's nice and snug. Nothing trying to pull this up or anything like that. Very nice and snug. So the main point is you get the window down and see if it does go down. Down. You can see. Without any problem. So down and up. Looking good. You don't have any problem or anything else. So it's mean it's good. Now let's try the real one and see how well it does real one go up look good now the most important is when the rear go down and see if you're gonna have some problem so we go down looking good everything looks nice and line up as it should be as you can see 
That's mean you install correctly. Now let's do one more time. Let's go up. It's good. Now let's go up, down one more time. Looking good. So now. Now let's go up. Everything look good. In the front. It's up. Everything look nice and neat. Close it up. The line still good. You have no problem whatsoever. And look at this. So you just there you go. You just install the new trim. And I already took the livery and installed the other side. I'll show you right now. See the other side I did. Nice and lined up. And it looked beautiful. As you can see. So like I said. You only do this thing once every 12 years, so it's not bad. Just need a little patience. So I'm going to put the link, um, my uh, the Amazon link uh, for this trim, the door trim, um, on my video description in case if you want one. Okay, this is uh, for, so my car is a 2012 T uh, Toyota Sienna. And this should work from 2011 to 2020. So if you have any problem, if you stay in the... <clears throat> if you put your car outside in the sun too much, you, uh, sooner or later you're going to have this problem. So, uh, so that's it for this video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Alright, alright bye.